Hey guys, my name is Scobie and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to use a PlayStation 5 controller wired on your Nintendo Switch. For this video, we're going to be using the Magic NS USB. I'm going to be showing you step by step how to do everything. Let's jump right into this. So for today's video, as mentioned, we're going to be needing the Magic NS USB stick. This is a super cheap USB adapter that we can use on our Nintendo Switch to use a lot of different controllers on it. And it's definitely something I'd recommend. So for today's video, I'm going to be doing this only on the handheld version. But of course, using the docked version is very, very similar. So the first thing we're going to be needing on the handheld version is a USB to USB adapter. And we're going to be connecting this first into the bottom of our Switch. And then we're going to be taking our Magic NS USB adapter. And we're going to be connecting it to the bottom of our Type-C adapter. Now, of course, if you were using it in docked mode, you can simply connect this directly into your switch rather than using the adapter, and it should be very, very similar. So we're going to be connecting this up, and then we're going to be turning on our Nintendo Switch. From this point, I'm going to be going past the home screen just so our switch doesn't go into sleep mode, and now our Nintendo Switch should turn on. So once you have your Magic NS USB connected, what we want to do is have a red flashing color on our device. Now, depending on the device you have in the firmware version, you may actually have more success with the purple color rather than the red color. I will be showing you how to cycle through these in a moment. Although for me, the red color seemed to give the least amount of issues. So that's what I'm going to be recommending in today's video. To change our cycle through colors, we simply need to come to the side button here on our device. And we're going to be pressing holding for a couple seconds and then the color should change. Now you simply need to go through all the colors until we get to the red one. And once you're on the red color, what we're gonna be doing is then grabbing our PlayStation 5 controller. And as we're gonna be doing the wired method in today's video, we're gonna have to grab a USB-C cable and we're simply gonna be connecting the USB-C cable to the top of our controller. And then we're gonna grab in the other end of the USB-C cable and we're gonna be connecting it into our adapter. Now from this point within a couple of seconds, the blue light should show up on our PlayStation 5 controller. And here, if we move around our controller, you should see everything should work on screen. And now our PlayStation 5 controller is working as a Nintendo Switch Pro controller on our Nintendo Switch. So because of that, our circle and X buttons are going to be switched. So A is going to be set up here to start the game. And here we can now use our PlayStation 5 controller like a normal Nintendo Switch controller. Now I love how this works. It works really, really great. And especially if you're a fan of the PlayStation 5 controller, this is going to be a huge improvement to using your Nintendo Switch. It works in handheld and docked mode, which is fantastic. And I will be bringing another video in the future showing you how to do this wireless, which brings this to a whole nother level. And overall, I'm really happy with the performance that you can get here from this little device. Anyway, guys, I want to take this moment to give a huge shout out to the channel members, Sean Daly, Joshua Davis, and Devante Hunt. Thank you so much for supporting the channel. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to drop a like. If you'd like to have your name shout out in future videos or some other perks, be sure to click the join button or any video on the channel. It would really help me out. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Until next time, as always, keep it saucy. Peace.